Hello and welcome everybody to the second and final day here at the Collegiate Star League Grand Finals. We've had a lot of competition on the first day and we went through both Dota 2 and CSGO semifinals. For those of you who may have missed all the action, here's a quick recap video to get you up to speed. We've gone from four teams down to just two, but only one Dota 2 team will be walking away with $10,000, as well as the title of CSL champion. Let's jump right into the action to get this grand final started. Blitz and Fox, take it away. Hello. That's right, Sue. Thank you. It is me and Pogoda. Just <laughs> hanging out here on the desk. <laughs> yes, we are. It's an early morning. You really wanted to do that, didn't you? I, of course, absolutely. Sue kept talking about it, so. Yeah, but didn't do it, so I knew I had to t take the mantle. So how does that work? That's the, there's no the, the, the F sound in Yeah, Korean? there's like there's like some letters that don't like really yeah. exist. Like we don't have like Z's, I think. I can't yeah. remember. Interesting. It's like, uh, I'll, tell you, I'll teach you about Korean later. It's okay. pretty cool, though. It's a cool language. So yesterday. Yesterday. We had some long games. We did. Some like 60, 70 minute games I hadn't seen. Uh, oh, yeah, the RIT the games series. In a while. Yeah, the RIT series in particular. Yeah. We, it was pretty funny. They were like, man, we played so bad yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you guys won, right? So, are you really that sad about it? No, they had, the, I thought they had good series. We, we were talking about what, like the, the game where Evident was playing Shadow Fiend. That one was a little bit, uh, oh. died a couple times. He got a little bit uh, overzealous, I think, right, with positioning. Oh, yeah. He. I, he knew too. I think he said after the game, he was like, "Oh yeah, we probably should have won that. I was so far ahead." Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, yeah that's a game that." Uh, I mean, he was level 14 when <laughs> the gyro was level seven. Yeah, that was pretty. <laughs> I, I was like, I could not believe that they, they, uh, ended up losing that game. And yeah. I think part of it too was that uh, McMaster was probably the better, like, when it came to team fights and stuff. And I think their drafts, at least in the first two games, are a bit better. Uh, whereas. Like, their individual skill was just, you know, it was a little bit cleaner. Yeah. And then they adjusted in game number three, which was the important part. Yeah, they picked, like, heavy team fight on the side of uh, Rochester, which was, which is cool. And looking at both, both sides that we have today here, of course, because UC Davis won yesterday as well over uh, SBU. They looked, I actually really liked UC Davis. I thought that their teamwork and their, like, gameplay, like, all, all around, actually, not just, like, their teamwork and everything, but, like, their all around Dota felt the best to me, like their drafts, their cohesiveness, their teamwork, like all of that. Oh yeah, I thought uh, for sure that they were probably the best team when it came to just like cohesion, they had good drafts. That dude LeBron, LeBron James, I assume he's BG based on the fact yeah. that he's the only one. That guy's, boy's a beast. He did playing really well on that sniper in particular. Yeah, his sniper was sick. Uh, the Dusa, when he outplayed Dark Raider, it was just like, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the, the fairy blood. fire and the yeah, healing like, self-trade. Guy was sick. What can you say? Did, are you trying to find him right now? Yeah, I was trying to find <laughs> what, what, what name he might be under, because that one's not showing up either. I wanted to see what other, some other heroes that he's actually played. Yeah, UC Davis is sick. I thought they were the best team that played yesterday, but yeah. who knows? I was a big fan of Chocobo, too. I liked his, uh, like his slaughter and everything. Got like the just like brown boots into a stick straight into the blink dagger. Like, I like doing that hero. Those. Huh? It, it feels so bad when you don't have Blink on that hero. Yeah. You're, just, you're actually just a garbage hero. You don't exist. But. Yeah. I like when I see those type of things, though. Like, sometimes you see a player, he's got, like, he's got the brown boots, he's got the stick, and then, like, he's about to die, and he's like, ah, oh, screw it. Buys the tranquil boots, finishes the wand, and then his Blink doesn't come for 15, 20 more minutes. Don't do that. No, he didn't do it. That's, I like when players are very uh, adamant about getting that item. Yeah. Doggy, on the other hand, too. Doggy and Eradicate were probably the two... Uh, other standouts for me for Rochester? Yeah, Eradicate I thought was, especially I think, um, I think in game number one with the PL, he's very solid, yeah. uh, did not die whatsoever. 
think in game number three, the Void one, he had like one or two chronos that I think were a little bit rough, but it's like, it was whatever. He still had a good amount of farm. He played the way that he should play, like lane wise and everything. So I didn't have too much of an issue with anything he did. Did you like the McMaster's like split push? <laughs> the gyro call down and everything? Uh, that was just because <laughs> their, the Void didn't have uh, Battle Fury, right? Yeah, he didn't. He had he got like the late Maelstrom. Yeah. After like all the other items. I think like waves. I, I think that's kind of the problem is if you don't have those kinds of items, like you're just you're stuck inside your base. Yeah. What are you looking forward to today? Uh, I would like. I mean, I think we're gonna see kind of like a mirror of yesterday, or hopefully RIT kind of learned from their drafts yesterday and was like, we can't be that greedy. Yes. I want more team fight. Yeah, you need to be able Especially to team fight. Especially from RIT, because I think you see. Like we've been talking about, I think UC Davis overall, they had a lot of synergy coming out. I think you have to be able to match that a bit. Look at those team facts. One of the undefeated teams in this year, RIT, as well as they rolled over the group of death in the fall. And it says, Evident, possibly the best collegiate Dota player in CSL since AUI. Since Owie. It says, A that man won a TI. That's a, quite a comparison. That man Evident. won the most competitive TI. In our group packet, it said, this guy is the miracle of CSL. <laughs> he is the best bully. player CSL's ever seen. I was like, I was expecting him yesterday to go 40-0 every game. You know, pick Pudge <laughs> and just, like, snatch people from the skies. Not Pudge, dude. Come on. Ed. Not that one. I actually, I checked my stats against him. I did run against him. And uh, I got rolled. Did you? Yeah. I've definitely played versus Evan in a bunch. That's actually cool. To yeah, I did get rolled one check. game. Uh, I would even write his name, though. He's got all these, like, these letters. Yeah, I mean, just write your name normal. I mean, Come I have on, to man. write mine in, but how do I? I mean, I can't write him in this, you know? Yeah. Oh, well. Can't it's play. all good. We're just giving him some guff because, I don't know, it's funny. It's funny. And they liked it. They, came, they went up to us yesterday. They were just like, they were all cracking up when we yeah. were doing it to them and just bullying of it in a bit. It's okay. And on the other side, uh, UC Davis, the only returning finalist from last year's Dota 2 finals, as well as the only uh, Dota team from the West Coast. And they do have a top 1,000 NA player in Lucky. Mm -hmm. Surely yeah. LeBron also has to. I have to believe he that guy is. He has to be is. a higher rank, right? I mean, yeah. I can't find him anywhere, though. I was trying to. He outlaned, uh, he outlaned Dark Raider, who's like top 50. Yeah. And uh, he dominated in game one. He was like 20 and like two or something. Yeah, surely, no, he, played, he played really well overall. Surely my mans has to be at least minimum with the way that he was leaning. I'd say he was at least like. Divine five, top I think like, definitely had to be divine five, right? Divine five, top like three, four hundred. Like he he did the, like the salve thing between hits yeah, and stuff, like he was instantly. Like it was like an instant salve after the attack. So like, I think yeah, he stacked for himself. To. Like he yeah. knew how to double stack for himself on Dusa. Like uh, yeah. everything was chill. Maybe he's just a Dusa player. How'd you feel about Xanthos yesterday? He played I think like Doom both times, right? Yeah, he played Doom two games and then in game three. What did he play, actually? Dark Willow, right? Yeah, that's He's right. He's the Willow player. His Willow was sick. His Willow was really strong. I, I was a fan of that. Yeah. I hope we get to see more of those heroes today. I want to see Pango from these sides, too. Because I, I was looking at like some of their games, and there was games that people were picking Pango. Yeah, it was... I think Luki had like the most pub games on Pango. Yes. Luki had a lot of Pango, like Underlord. Yeah. I think Xanthos also was one of the ones that I was looking at. Maybe. maybe I might be wrong. I know it was for sure Luki, but... Maybe this one we can actually find. Xanthos actually has a name that we can type in. Most games, Dark Willow. Dark Willow, most games, yeah. Makes sense. Second most games, Storm Spirit. Condolences. Seven months ago, though. Seven months ago. Oh, nah, I mean, that's about, that matches up about that when that hero right. was good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. So, second, second pick in Radiant is UC Davis. But yesterday we also had, we also had like second pick ratings. Yeah, is first pick better right now? In comp Dota, um, I think it, I think it varies. I think it still does vary a little bit between team to team because some teams like having the overall last pick. Yeah, like newbie. That's like the only thing. Newbie likes having second pick. Yeah. So they can give S triple C. I think Secret does too. <clears throat> I think overall Secret does too. Yeah. Okay. Right, what matchup? What matchup is it? Which, one's the, which one am I looking forward to most? I'm I'm actually, I mean, as a support player, I'm all about my man biology. Bi do biology. My boy biology. Don't sleep on biology's <laughs> bane. Dude, bi biology was sick. 
Biology's Bane and Words Bane. Both, like, Bane could be a big, pretty big uh, five hero. Yeah. Right now between this, that we, at least from what we saw yesterday, it was picked quite a few times. I feel so bad for Word. You know, he's, he, his, his course just played independently. He's a five position, and he's just standing around like, guys, let's do something. <laughs> Radiant team ban. So this is all, I mean, teamwork's going to be the name of the game for yep. this series. Absolutely. So drafts get geared up. I mean, I'm I'm glad to see the Omni bands too. I think like that's a hero that just, I don't know, it like just changes the entire scheme of the game. It's just like oh, everything's going great. Oh, Garden Angel. Oh, Repel. Yeah. I don't know. Five it's not it's not remaining. the most entertaining hero for me. <clears throat> I like Omni. I think it's a funny hero. I just I don't know, like playing from even from back in like Dota one, when I would play with this like it would just like every game I feel like I would just have like an Omni Knight in the game and it would just be like oh big team fight happens, clicks one button, okay. Like, Everyone's kind of fine. It's, I mean, it used to be worse back in Dota 1 because yeah. everything was like immunity to everything, gave health regen, gave armor. Remaining. It did like everything. That's fair. But I feel like I just, Radiant I don't know, it's just a hero I see so much. Oh, so they banned the brew out. RIT. Did the Aggies play brew yesterday? I thought they didn't. I think they had brew played against them. I think they had it played against them, right? Yeah. That's interesting. They banned Omni and brew. What is that like? Ten what do you not want to play remaining. against when you see stuff like that? TV team was it Zycon who played the? Was he played the? He's the one who played Brood, right? Brew? Zycon? No. Zycon, Zycon played. Um, he played Omni in game two, and in game one he played Underlord. You're right. You're right. Dire team pick. Zycon was a beast in game two. Dude, it's gotta be. Dude, it's gotta be doggy, right? The Earth. Look at the Earth Spirit ban. It's again. The Earth Spirit. Yesterday was the Earth Spirit Sand King targeted ban. Yeah, Earth Spirit. Doggy. doggy. They know. Doggy they know who the real threat is. Yeah. On RIT. <laughs> Boy's definitely a beast. Ten seconds. Dude, he hit a three-man burrow with epicenter. no blink. Yeah, with no <laughs> blink. That saved them the game. The they would have lost that game. They would have gone two owed. I, dude, I remember like watching. I was like, "Wow, actually, he actually got a three-man stun." What he, the they would have gotten two would if it weren't for his heroics yesterday. That's true, and that is crazy to me, considering uh, everything that has happened in the season. Yeah, regarding RIT. Ten seconds remaining. So we got Tusk. So even though he's nerfed. Five seconds remaining. People are slowly favoring this hero. Have you been getting a chance to see any of the other like, uh, top games? Pick. I didn't get to see anything. I don't know how the other drafts are going. My sleep schedule is not geared towards Epicenter right no. now. No, me either. Slardar again. I think teams have drafted techies, and it lost like every game. Two techies games lost in 20 minutes, both of them. Yeah. That, that I saw so far. I was talking to Artur about it, and he's like, the problem with that hero, Ten seconds. it, it feels really annoying in the laning phase to play against, because you, you just can't really go anywhere, and then Five it doesn't matter. Remaining. Because you just run at it now. I was like, what does he do? He doesn't stop pushes. His team fight is very mediocre. Like, you need to let techies establish into a techies game, right? Where, like, the game goes long. You're pushing out waves, like, constantly with mines. They're, like, better TA traps, right? I also feel like the, I don't know. I'm not a big techies player, but just watching a bunch of the games, I feel like that hero snowballs super hard. If you actually get your, like, level 7s and stuff, like, really early, yeah, that's you start one-shotting everybody. Getting levels on that hero is kind of, like, yes. it's questionable. Because his laning is so bad. Yeah. Before in the past, like, I don't know, maybe you could, maybe you have to like Ten aggro with that hero, but remaining. it feels very, you. I think you can, actually. I think you can run him as a support, and you Five run him, uh, you just remaining. use the suicide, or the yeah. takeoff. Or I mean, I think thing. he is a four. It's just but the games that, I, I did see the games that he played, at least, and he just gets ran, like, ran over. Yeah. Like, yes, he wins in the laning phase, but it's like, you got to figure out a better, because I, I do think that hero's good. You just have to find a better way to transition. Just like, what does he contribute in team fights? Really, yeah. it's just the blast off. Like, getting mines off is pretty difficult. Yeah, this is a question for Robot Ten Vice. Ten seconds yeah. remaining. I'm curious about a lot of it. So Doom again picked up. Five seconds remaining. On the opposite side this time. They took away the that biology bane. <laughs> yeah. So we have like kind of both teams snatching each other's heroes a little bit, right? Davies takes the Doom away from Xanthos, and well, RIT they did play the bane as well, but. You know, I think uh, if you see Slardar Doom, I think you should just like snap pick Rubik. I know like the new lift is whatever, but it's so good against Doom and Slar. It's like Slardar never gets a stun off against a decent Rubik. And you can, you can steal Doom pretty consistently. They don't have like room for it though, and then they have to Ten make like, a core seconds toss. Remaining. You meant like instead of the Bane? Yeah. yeah. Five seconds remaining. Davis had second pick though, right? Yeah. 
So that was first pick Tusk into Slaughter Doom. And then they take Bane. So Doom is your way to deal with Evident, I think. Just get him out of the fight. Get him out of the fight, yeah. <coughs> In response, I think you just pick him a really like quick hero. <coughs> I think part of the issue that Stony Brook had yesterday was like they they couldn't figure out a way to get Dark Raider like the best game possible. Mm -hmm. I mean that OD one was kind of unfortunate, like that death in mid where he just died. Yeah, I mean he played super far up. Yeah, that one was a little bit rough and some of those choices, but like you gotta give your best player the ability <laughs> to just like solo Ten carry the game. Remaining. Or at least as close to it as possible. Yeah, just have a bunch Five of playmakers. Don't remaining. make him the playmaker, I feel like. I feel like you can a little bit if he's playing something like a Death Prophet, but if you're playing something like that OD, which you want to be that hard carry, you can't be running around making the plays and be expected to be that super farmed like, creep hitter. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. I see Tusk Bane, though, and that's a really strong um, support duo. Yeah. It's like you have one thing that initiates, you have one thing that goes through BKB. Um, what does that support duo lack? Like, when you look at that, like, what is it bad about? I guess their team fight can be a little bit weak. That's bad. Their lanes are strong. They've got decent wave clear with Tusk. But I think, like, the team fight with Bane. Bane and Tusk, it's not like... He's like AoE disables or anything like that, right? Yeah. Isn't Tusk snowballed nice against Doom, though? Yeah, Tusk, Tusk is good, but Bane is like... Radiant mm. As long as they have disables, because we saw yesterday, like... I don't even know how many five-second Fiends grips... Or Nine second fiends grips. Yeah. Hey, you just gotta draft stuns. Yeah. That's how Dota works. Yep. You, we were talking to the McMaster guys yesterday. And they're like, what, what was wrong with our drafts? They're like, not enough stuns. Yep. If you have more than like just the Ten clockwork stun. Remaining. That guy was really. He played a really nice clock though. Five seconds. Uh, Vinar, remaining. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Vinar. Vinar's clock was really good. But it, yeah, he was the only catch. And it, it's like when you're one of the it makes the game so hard. It really yeah. does make it way too difficult. If I'm RIT, I would think about, depending on what this third pick is, I would think about taking DP again. Yep. I think it might get taken here, though. Yeah. I don't think it's bad against... Um, I don't think it's bad against Slaughter or Ordu. Dire team yeah. pick. You're going to get Yule. So. Okay. It's an early Jakiro. So you know what the support duo is? Jakiro, Slaughter. Mm -hmm. Uh... So long distance ice path to cancel the fiend's grip gives you team fight too. That's like good versus touch snowball. That's like a really mediocre like uh, tri lane though. Ten seconds remaining. Like I I, I look at Jakiro as a hero kind of like disruptor. Five yeah yeah you get ran at you get yeah, ran, you just ran, ran really at. hard. If you allow Jakiro to get into a one on one, Radiant then you're fine. Pick. But like if you just. Nice. I think like way you like you can guarantee a lane like this. If it's like slaughter Jakiro, you pick a Luna. Yeah. And then everything has changed because there's just. These two oh. frontliners and the damage is ridiculous. I like that Lifestealer pick a lot. Yeah? Lifestealer into Doom and Slardar. Ten it seconds crushes Doom remaining. in lane. Dire you don't really care about the other three heroes. Phantom. That is a CEO. Phantom Lancer. So you'll okay. probably see like the Radiance Rush on Lifestealer. Yep. Radiant Solar. They don't have the greatest ways to catch this PL now. Or to deal with the illusions. Until that, like Radiance and all that comes online. One mid heroes crush PL. You could take like Lush. Lush is like the number one picked uh, hero in. I r I really like Lush. I Lush is actually one of my favorites versus PL. Just throughout. I mean, always, always for Dota. Yeah. But you're a little weak, I guess, versus Slaughter Doom. You're at risk of getting burst down, but you do have Tusk to save you. You have Tusk save. Yeah. You're, you're gonna go Bloodstone okay. anyways. Yeah, maybe it's okay. I think Bloodstone counters spells like Doom and Chrono inherently. Like, you get doomed or chronoed, and then you die, and you're back in, like, 20 Radiant seconds, right? Yeah, back. similar concept, like, just, like, uh, like, Aegis, I guess you could say, right? Yeah. Like, you just deal with those big ulties with it. So, Abaddon. That's the Chinese counter to Slardar. Yeah. Very good versus Slardar. Uh, good ver it's actually pretty good versus PL, too. Because your PL is trying to, like, focus fire, and when the shield Ten pops, you know which one the real remaining. PL is, because the illusions just yep. get taken down. I'd kind of like RIT to, like, finish Five up with some kind of team remaining. fight. I still yeah. think the Lush is pretty good. I think they just need more follow-up. I feel like they lack damage, actually, on RIT. Yeah. If you ever hear, like, uh, Lush, though, I'd, I'd even be okay with something like Death Prophet. Lush or... What Storm? <laughs> Storm's so bad here. Storm for Evident? Come on, dude. You played it yesterday. <laughs> I'd say, like, Lush or GP for RIT. 
Because I think they... You don't want them to have uh, Infester at all, then. Uh, that's, that's the annoying part, too. It's like, maybe Puck, too. Puck would be okay. Yeah, that's the only reason why I like, threw out the Storm in there. Because just like, the Infest, I feel like, could be really important. Because you want to be the one starting the fight versus doing yeah, Slaughter. Right? Just snowball in. Yeah. I think Life Sealer was just like an independently good hero. I don't know. I, I still think they need damage. I, I, th I think they really need damage on RIT, yeah. yeah. Some ways to clear out the illusions and wave clear. I think yeah, Leshrac takes everything. Uh, what else? What about... Uh, hmm. Maybe Shadow Fiend again. SF? SF's good against PL. Like, to a certain point, and then PL... Ten seconds remaining. Once, once PL gets heart, it, the game changes. I always wanted to see Five people do the Aghanim's build versus PL. I saw like one or two players do it a few times, and I was like, oh my, this build oh, actually like owns the hero. Nine on uh, Penta did it? Yeah. It, like, just, you actually just can't do it, because you doppel to dodge the Requiem, and then you get hit by the return, your illusions all get cleared. I don't know, it's, it's a pretty, pretty neat build. But Shadowfiend Lifestealer can be, I guess, a little bit weak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dragon Knight. I feel like I haven't seen the hero as much anymore, but DK actually looks pretty good. Doesn't fix their damage issue, though. And he actually has to have a pretty good game. I think so they need the some damage. They need some team fight. You see Davis, they... So Death Prophet, Lash. Gaia team pick. And, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll keep a DK in there, I think. I feel because they don't have tower push much. It's mm. just the, um, the Abaddon right now, too. So I think those three, they hit all three kind of tickers, right? Yeah. Hmm. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Dragon Knight. Okay. So you take DK. If you're Davis, they have three really tanky cores on RIT. Yeah. Actually, all five of the heroes are pretty pretty durable. Man, it would have been a sick Underlord game. Yeah. So for Davis, I mean. Ten right? seconds DP? remaining. DP sick. DP looks sick. I, I feel like Doom is not even that mean. bad against this lineup. No, Infernal Blade's going to do Infer some more. Yeah, that, I, was thinking, I was thinking about more percentage based because they're all like four strength heroes. I think DP works. I, I think any hero that gets a four staff also works. It's like there's no. You, you only have the DK stun. For the most part, you can get away for the rest of uh, Rochester's lineup. I think Monkey King mid. Maybe it's. Okay. Interesting. Gave LeBron James the best matchup. It seems like they just one-to-one -one counter pick for him. Yeah, yeah, that's, it is what it seems like. So we hit. How's that matchup? That doesn't sound so fun for Dragon Knight. It's pretty annoying for DK. Yeah, it sounds pretty pretty hard. Dude, that DK set looks really cool, actually. Old man Dragon Knight with the beard? Yeah, he's got the beard. He looks like a, little, he looks like a, like a dwarf. Got the fire shield with some arrows in yeah, it. Yeah, dude, that looks... I'm actually a big fan of that set. Okay. So, wave clear. I think RIT has a little bit better. Ten seconds remaining. Team fight. Hmm. Davies probably has a little bit better team fight. Because of, like, Doom and Jakiro Monkey King. Hmm. What are you thinking? I don't know. I always feel meh about uh, MK as a court. King. Yeah, me too. I feel like Life Seer Dragon Knight, these, like, even though th there's like a slaughter, these two heroes are going to get really durable and they're just going to stand in. Like, the mo they're not going to care too much about the Monkey King's damage, right? I really like this PL's game, though. Yeah. I think Lucky's going to have a good game. He was a good TB yesterday, and he played a really nice bench. Let's see how he does. So he does versus the Sabaddon. I think the DK needs to have a pretty good game, though. Yeah. I think Evidon, you have to get like your level 12 at a pretty early timing so that you can actually keep the farm up to keep up with the PL. Yeah, that's a word Bane, too. It is. Bane players. So it's the last best of three. It's the last best of three. It's the CSL, man. It's grand finals.
All eyes. I'm gonna keep eyes on mid lane mostly, and probably how this Doom is gonna do up top. Wonder how they're gonna do their lane setup. Because from what it looks like is they're going aggro again on Davis. The uh, Slaughter has got the star same starting items as last time when they were playing. The Stout Shield. And they've got double regen on their Jakiro as well. 30 seconds to battle. So with Doom, they're going to put Doom in a 1v1 versus Baden. In the safe lane, it's Doesn't a Baden crush that? In the safe lane, it's a little different, right, with the, for Doom. But I think a Baden still wins pretty hard. Maybe if he maxed Infernal Blade. I'm not sure. Maybe he's shield. It's true. That's a problem. That's why the matchup is, like... Really unfortunate. Maybe if he gets like a really good creep. I mean, I saw that mana creep actually do work the yesterday. The little troll creep. Oh, Ooh, doggy gets an instant D ward. Doggy Dota. They've been. I think all of the games I saw actually, they placed that ward, that mid ward. They placed it within like that region. Who did? The uh, Radiant San Diego? The, the Radiant, just the Radiant team. Oh, it, it, it didn't matter which one it was. They either placed the uh, right on top of the flag or they placed it to the left to watch the rune. They really wanted to defend their mid lane. Uh-oh. Thrawn's got to watch out. Doggy's coming in. He is probably pretty dead. Yeah. Nice rotation by Doggy. One way you can guarantee the lane for your Dragon Knight. Monkey King has that tried to pretty much zero armor at the start of the game, so. And one armor yeah. to begin. So trading hits with him is okay. Oh no, man. I, you know how I feel about this hero. Yeah, I don't know either. It's fun to play, though. He is. Definitely fun to play. I won my one game with him, if you remember, in Bucharest. I do remember. But that was old Monkey King. Where Basher worked. No, Basher didn't work. It was just broken. The times are hard. Denied. How's this aggro? So they're doing just two top, two mid. Oh, be careful, Xanthos. Xanthos, a couple tower hits down bottom. The so Lifesters should still be able to farm up here. So should PL, though. I guess it's going to be depending on how the uh, the two fours make the rotations. Right, right now. Biology sees the Tusk coming in. He's gonna back up a little bit as the creep wave comes. Xanthos at bottom, doing quite well. PL, gonna get charted up, but traverses across that no problem. Now they're getting a little bit aggressive, but... I feel like the kills in this lane are gonna be pretty limited, actually. Yeah. This Monkey King is caught up in CS, though, no problem. Yep. This is kind of what you expect in the lane. Yeah, once you get the two points from your Jingu. It becomes very, very tough for the Dragon Knight. You're still farm though. You're DK. Yeah. This bottom lane is the rough one right now for Doom. Yeah. Just a 2CS. They're both not really last hitting the greatest though. They're kind of both just putting a lot of pressure on each other. He's like, I've gone for the 0 1 2 build to go for that threat. Xanthos is forced to use a mango to get the shield off. 0 1 2, that's smart. Yeah, that's really smart actually. I like it's like, this. I can't use the Bower in this lane uh, if you want to try to control the lane. Getting aggressive onto work, but hard. how are the one situations up top? Does everybody have sticks yet? Chocobo. Chocobo. Kind of grabbed out here. You get snowballed, hit. Oh, he will be okay. The sleep comes out though. Doggy also getting traded here with Lucky. Chocobo gets the stun off onto Wirt. Wirt can't quite go. Lucky getting low. Has the doppel. Nice doppel. Might even get another kill here on a Wirt. Getting low, but. So is biology, and they're just gonna have to back out trade. And that is a one for zero. Just looking at the wand situation right before they all started going to. Pretty much everybody's got the stick now picked up. Yeah, and it seems like uh, UC Davis have made the read that uh, RIT aren't the best when it comes to playing against the aggro. But I mean, so far it's not even going that bad for RIT. I think they also want to like. Uh, Radiant on the side of you, Steve, they want to force this reaction, keep three heroes top, right? So they just have this 1v1 lane in the mid lane. Like sure, bottoms probably not going to win as the Doom, but mid's going to, mid should win in theory. Yeah. Except for the first blood incident. Yeah, so you see evidence 19 and 1 to 19 and 4. Uh -uh. Pretty okay. And yeah, look at, look at the bottom lane. The Doom, the Doom's build. 0 2 2. Got it. 
It's all about that pressure. Try to secure lane. It's a good amount of pressure here. Yeah, with the fire and the infernal blade. I think he's actually forced. Out. I think he's forced out Xanthos pretty much. He's not CSing though. Nah, he's not. Neither of them are really CSing, nah. they're just trading hits. It's just the battle game. Top off, I mean, tops, tops trade farm. So pretty much across the board, it's dead even. Evidence doing, I mean, Evidence doing really well in mid. He's gonna back out, sees the DD rune on the Monkey King. Absolutely do not want to fight that. Sorry about that. You think it'll just be the standard radiance still though, especially on Life Steel versus like PL. Oh, you'd assume. I think so. Yeah. I think it makes the most sense anyways. I was wondering because they also they had the Abaddon. So I was wondering like maybe if Santos has like an excellent game. Again, the battle bottom. Pops the shield. It's getting really aggressive here. Shield pops. He's gonna be able to, he actually gets the salve delivered on the courier, Santos. Oh. Be careful. If he gets caught by Infernal Blade, could go down. Meanwhile, top makes you miss the kill. Lucky Lucky. Lucky does die. It's pretty good start so far for RIT. Yeah. That's a tough kill. They must have been able to just chase him all the way. And I guess uh, Ch Chocobo wasn't there. It's PL. And he's getting okay farm, but... Their aggro so far doesn't look like it's paid off too well. No, it doesn't seem like it's accomplishing what they really wanted it to. Yeah. You could make the case that all three lanes right now are losing, but up at top, or oh, The shards. shards. Doggy, that was beautiful. That might just save them? Yes, it does. Yeah, well, they might even... Might be able to get something out of this, too. Snowball on the boat. Both of them are going to go down, and biology out of mana. They're going to disengage from that. Those were some incredible shards coming out from Doggy. Yeah, th that was actually so beast. And that bottom. Doom getting chased out a little bit, but... Dude, Doom's actually, I think, winning. Doom's winning the lanes. I can With this build, the skipping devour. Yeah, it's actually quite smart. Yeah. So at bottom, they make the play onto him, but you are still trying to kill an Abaddon. Doesn't feel too good to be able to go for that. In mid lane, Evan has popped the dragon form. He's doing excellent. Higher farm than the Monkey King by 500 because of that early kill. Pretty much gonna have treads done, so it's gonna be like a 1300 HP DK already at this point in time. And he feels okay trading hits right now with LeBron, who's got very little armor. Just wants to get some pot shots on the tower if possible. Get yeah. that low is up at top. Lucky gonna get gone out again. Snowball. Zycon's TP'd in though with the Doom available. And pops the Doom on to eradicate. But worth the chase. They're gonna lay down the fire too, but here's the sleep. Oh! And the TP comes out on the tusk. It's gonna be successful. Damn. Even the TP comes out from Xanthos just in case. And nothing really happening right now for UC Davis as no. they rotate the Doom up there. Yeah, he TP'd up and it was actually under vision of the ward. And they, even though they saw him, they kept continuing the chase. Yeah. And Doggy. I take what I clean. Nice outplay there. Tree line TP. Yeah. Mid lane. Evident just continues to spam out. This is the annoying part now when he's you're a Monkey King. Attack. He's already got such high level Dragon Blood that you actually, yeah. even though you have high level Jingu, you don't really actually hit or life steal that much. It's not really doing. Uh, the trade isn't good for him at all. No, he actually might just have to die. Let's be very careful. Doesn't have a uh, raindrop actually saved in there. Yeah. No Dragon Form up yet. One second. Gotta be careful. Misses. Okay, he gets the creeps and he's gonna heal to full. Yep. Does grab a haste. Bottom. Bottom. So trying to get Doggy here. Chocobo. Just getting slowed up, but does have the sun available and no follow up chase is going to be there. Good protection play there. I like when I see uh, oh. these the cores do that. Biology does die to the rotation, though, with the DK. Like when you're the support and you just have to, you're like, okay, this, if this slaughter closes the gap on the tusk, he dies. So Eradicate just makes sure that Chocobo can't do that. In this mid lane. Yes, you got a seemingly favorable matchup, but you'd rather have the DK in this kind of situation. Yeah. And I think I prefer seeing evident on these heroes that uh, don't just farm, that can make these rotations. Oh, doggy! doggy. <laughs> Walks up and gets two shot. First mistake I think we've seen him make all game. Yeah, he did. 
to have the ward there on the side there yeah. for uh, LeBron. Evident might have wanted to go for the play into pushing the tower out. Stun comes out. He's going to bound this to keep the stacks. Oh, I think get out of range. He might bound this and maybe he steps up too far. How are the items looking out? Life series. I'm actually going for armlet, by the way. Okay. Opted not to go for the Radiance. It's been interesting. It's, uh, it's pretty nice against the rest of the heroes, though. It's just like, uh, you're going to be kind of a single target for core against the uh, PL. Yeah. But the PL hasn't had the use of time. Like, Lucky doesn't have the most amount of farm in the game. Or anything I'm like that. I'm okay with it, too, just because he's versus, uh... Slaughter, so the Prosa pays, you get that bonus on Stun flies out. Here comes the follow-up. Tusk, More no heroes. Ball. He should be pretty dead here. Yeah. I think they just abandoned him. Oh, oh, oh he, he almost denies got the himself. deny. Oh my goodness. He tried. The effort was there. Yeah. So Davis is going to pick up another kill. Score is 3-4, to four, but the overall game so far is favoring RIT. Do you know what their mascot is? For RIT, I have absolutely no idea, actually. I knew my school, I'm sorry. Is it the Tigers? <laughs> I'm not sure. The tower evident will be able to finish this one up with that dragon form. They love Blip available, LeBron chopping quite low. And the rotations are coming over. They're trying to actually catch this Dragon Knight. Middle bottom, biology. Snowballed up, Radiant quickly brought down. Tower. Gonna die for that attack. one as the PL taking some damage here too, but does have the doppel walk if necessary. In the mid lane. LeBron, LeBron sitting at 100 HP. Oh. Can heal a little bit, but in this room picked up by Evan. <laughs> if he was able to just like find some snipe there though. He should be able to claim this tower pretty soon. Radiant's bottom, lucky again, getting snowballed on. No doppel available this time. Is gonna go down and Doom comes onto the Bane. But well worth this trade as you do manage to grab the carry. They are gonna get two kills in return though. Nice. Cyclon. Nice build is so cool. I really like this 0 2 4 build actually. At least 0 2 3. Maybe get the Devour after, but. Worked well for him in the lane, but Xanthos is already pretty much finished up the Dominator. Quite far ahead actually of the Doom. After all this movement's been happening around the map, 4k advantage already for IT. Xanthos just focusing on that farm game. Zycon just trying to play the aggressive, go around the map, trying to make stuff happen. Avid and they're just going to start grouping up to push those towers. Because, like we were mentioning, the wave clear and the, like the tower protection tower really on the side of UC Davis is pretty limited. Yeah. It does seem like RIT kind of learned their Good. lessons from yesterday. Yeah. When it came to like the shortcomings of their lineups, seems much more team team oriented. How about like the, the group up of the game? Oh, no. at bottom. Eradicate. LeBron gets fiend script and stun during the ulti. They do stop the fiend script though. Word dropping low. LeBron gets a balance but dies. Everybody on the side of RT very healthy to continue this battle. And Trucobo isolated out. Does have the stun available, but just gonna get stunned up by Evident. Look at that. Santos is just running in, zoning the rest of them. Make sure they can't take the attack. He wants to try to continue out this fight. Ulti is popped, but should not stop the push whatsoever. As the Monkey King came in, thought he was going to be strong, but... Yeah, he just finished Medallion, so I guess maybe he felt like he was a lot tankier, but he's completely in the front line there alone. And they did not have Doom available, so it was used earlier on the Bane before the fight started. So tower last hit by Evan. It's going to be an easy one for him. He just continues to get ahead in this game. Tops in net worth. All three heroes on the side of RIT are tops yeah. when it comes to net worth. Yeah. Definitely looking problematic at the moment. Yeah. You see Davis. RIT is pretty strong lead right now. 6,000 gold at just 13 minutes. What's the win probability, say, Yanni? What's it say already? It's high already. It's already sitting at like 80, 90%. Almost 90%. Yeah. Dota 2 thinks that <laughs> this game is 90% in RIT's favor. It does feel pretty heavily in RIT's favor at the moment, though. 
Doom comes out. The Doom on to eradicate. You're gonna have to get him here. Yeah, this is how if you're gonna have a comeback, you started. Yep. And Zycon with the killing spree. I mean, he's rotated quite a bit, but it's four heroes actually that make their way up. Yeah. That is a kill for the Doom, who really needs it right now. Yep. He barely has more net worth than Doggy. I mean, we thought the laning phase build, sure, it's cool, but now it's still hurting. not farming, yeah? Now it's hurting a lot. It's like, meanwhile, you've got this Abaddon that can just sit in lanes Damage. with Helmut Dom. Shows up with the Centaur, oh. gets the stun. Yeah, Evident enough. is there too. He's got the Doppel. Will they have enough to chase? They should have enough to watch. The oh, biology. Path. Lucky. One more hit. They're going to lay down everything for him, but they don't manage to get it as Zykon now is the new target. They should be able to chase him down. The stun flies out. Oh, look at still for forward. Evident. Finds Lucky. And now Wirt on the side here. Wirt. He's, he's caught out biology. He's got a DD rune. One more hit. Dude, Nightmare plus DD rune. Oh gets like five hits during it. And Doki's got the life sealer in him too. Yeah. They're looking to make a play. Maybe if they can go find bottom. It's LeBron. They're looking, they might be able to find Chocobo too here. Chocobo. I think they want the Monkey King more. Yeah. They're gonna make their rotation down there. Is LeBron gonna get caught the shards up are perfect. Ice. Here comes the infest bomb. LeBron pops the ulti, but with Evident here. And Wirt's there too for the Fiend's grip onto the side, onto Chocobo. And these Bane players. Yeah, I mean, Bane. Maybe Bane's just the best. Player. No, maybe so Bane is just legit. the CSL meta. Yeah. I like that he didn't immediately just go for the grip onto the Monkey King. He went for the plus one. Yeah. That's going to be 7,000 gold now as in mid. Xanthos, hey, you're in a bad. You don't care about any hero right now on the map. If you get killed at this point, it's like, do you really mind? I mean, the, realistically, the biggest way for them to kill him is like a Doom. A Doom yeah. and chasing him all the way down. Everybody else is going to be really hard for them to bring down this Abaddon at the time being. He's got the double siege wagon going too. Yeah. And he has actually queued up the. He's going to be that Radiant Spire. Yeah. Really like this from RT. I think yesterday they were trying to focus way too much on allowing Evident to be like this 1v5 core and everyone just play split, but this time around, like they're making moves as a team and you're starting to see like Doggy and Wart are much more effective yeah. in this game as like a support duo. Yeah, yesterday they were running a lot. Yesterday it was like, okay, one guy running, we're trying to make plays all over the place. Today it's Let's do things as a team. Yeah, it feels a lot more team. Yeah, let's like move together. Uh, Yes, Evident might be the, like the highest ranked player here, but you still have to play a team game. Yeah. And he's made that adjustment, and I think that's the best part about it. Like, it's very easy, I think, to just want to play like the Storms and SFs and like try to solo carry. And play DKs as a stun. Flies out in the back line. Word. Almost dead. Gets the Nightmare up to protect himself for now. Uh, Zykon does get the Doom off, but dies. Doggy getting chased out by LeBron and Lucky. And they want more, but LeBron gonna get stunned up now, and the Doomed Up Life Sealer about to heal. Damage from LeBron. Starting that up. The Boundless. And he's gonna go down. And Evident. The chase. They've got stunned in one. Yes. They get him. It's gonna land. And Evident's gonna go down too. That's a four for four for two. That's a four for two. And the PL is the beneficiary of most of those. And, and they might even get the event here. Looks pretty dead as well. Should yeah, be able LeBron. to get caught here. Gonna step down. They're gonna get another kill onto this as LeBron gets the last hit, and that was pretty huge. That was a huge swing of gold. They didn't have their Abaddon for the fight. He was split pushing up top, and they were taking a 4v5 engagement. Zykon got the Doom on the Life Stealer. It was enough. It was just ending, too. Yeah. If he had like half a second, maybe he gets the Rage off. Yep. And he's able to turn that fight around, but unable to do so as a result. A rough set of, uh, of events for them. Yep. They need to be playing. I think they have to have the Abaddon in, the, in those type of engagements. If they're in the enemy jungle around a shrine. The shrine wasn't pop, though. The nature of the area where all five heroes are going to show up. And now, I mean, Chocobo has a Blink Dagger now after that on the slaughter. They can actually continue looking for these pickoffs. Dyer's top tower oh. is under attack. attack. They're not trying to slow down. They have all this deep vision down. They want to keep using infests. Should be able to find Zycon here. Gonna get the easy pick yep. on Zycon. Nothing Another aggressive ward right place down, too. Yeah. Well, Roshan is going to be the name of the game right now, I think. LeBron is going back for a battle fury, is what it looks like. I'm okay with it. Just so he can, like, stay as a hero in the game. Keep up farming, being able to push out the lanes, too. Hey, otherwise, what does he really provide? Yeah. Work? He's going to run into him. He's ping like crazy. Off on him. I mean, this could be them. They're all, like, closing the gap here. 
Oh, it looks a little awkward here. Yeah, he doesn't know who else is there. The stun flies out from Chocobo, who... He's trying to drop a little bit low. The stun flies out onto the side oh, of the they priority... got the control. He's going to go down. That prioritization by Evident, he's like, I can stun the slow up, but there's a PL there. Quick, easy kill. He gets the bigger target, and they might just push into mid. They're all grouped up here. This is a five-man push from RIT as he's going for the Maelstrom to deal yeah. with Phantom Lancer. He's actually got it finished up already, too. Can't have it in. It's going to be the tower taken, and they're pinging towards top. Tower, if you remember, is very low. Yeah. It's the HP. LeBron. Doggy stalking LeBron. He actually gets the shards Doggy on him. finds him. And he even stops him before the ulti. The stun flies out. This should be enough damage. The Doom, though. Man, stunned by Chocobo. LeBron pops the ulti, gets the staff off. He's starting to get pretty low. They do manage to grab him down. But everyone right now, from the side of UC Davis, swarming. Starting to get a little bit low. Eradicate. And now here comes Lucky from the back line. Evident starting to drop low. With the other fuse finished. Mana. And he's just fighting now. The ulti is popped onto the Abaddon. They're trying to get out of this. Eradicate doesn't have the rage anymore. Turns the around stun. on his icon. The stun though from Chocobo. And they are going to manage to kill up the Doom, but that is going to be a five for two wipe. Wow, who got doomed too? It's like the, one of the supports got doomed as well in the fight, and they were still able to take it with the swing around from Lucky. They got what a three man crush from Chocobo, I think two or three yeah. times. Four man bound the strike in the fight, so they stayed there. And Chocobo they just got outnumbered. being able to survive. Uh, yeah. Chocobo getting the stun off and keeping uh, LeBron alive for like that half second. Because if they control up LeBron there and he just goes down, uh, you probably lose that fight pretty yeah. hard. But he was able to keep that ult going for long enough. And the Slaughter Amp is doing work here. Yeah, it is. In these engagements. And it was just as the PL, just as Lucky got defusal. Yeah. So he comes, if he didn't have the defusal, I think they may have actually to, still been able to take the fight on the side of RIT. They were still pretty healthy on mana. It's the three durable cores. It's the Abaddon. The life and the DK were still there, but PL shows up. They got no mana. Yeah, Evan had lost almost all of his mana. Yeah, pretty quickly. Now you see the team play from UC Davis. Still a 4K lead. Uh, just the individual amount of farm that they've gone still quite high. And this Doom, I mean, he's under farm, but he's still Doom, right? He's yeah. Still gonna do the same things. Just walks in Doom's a hero. What does the win probability say now? Still. About 80%-ish, it says, I guess, for RIT. So Ish. RIT have lost 10%. They lost 10% from losing two back-to-back -back fights. Yeah. So Evident is... I'd say... Is I, I wouldn't say it was like 80-20. I'd say this game is now like closer to 70-30. Yeah. It's still a very good PL game. But it does just take... The scary thing for uh, UC Davis is it only takes like one bad fight for them to just get rexed. And look at how aggressive the smoke is. Okay. They're going to pop. Walks through the creep wave. Yeah, and it's another aggressive ward down. It's the ward down. The stun is the there. Snowball instantly. Oh, he was so quick on that timing, and here's the fiend's grip. He's gonna go off for a decent enough duration. Chocobo starting to get low. Is gonna fall. They're trying to lift the double Lucky. buyback. Evident. Lucky gets slowed down. He's pretty low on mana now on his dragon. But they're continuing to chase. Even though the buybacks are there, they don't care. Lucky King ult is popped. The snowball comes in, and you've got LeBron going down too. The PL, he's so low. One more hit, that'll take him out. The Doom comes out, but they've already lost quite a lot. And Zygon is probably kind of go down here as well. The Ice Path hits four, but... And that was the buyback from him, too. They might just... Continue. Now they might build the pressure here. I think you just continue here. Those yeah, two definitely. buybacks. You don't have any ultis either. The Snowball comes in. Doggy gonna pick it up. Doggy's Tusk has been Dude, did you, did you see how fast yeah. that was? Before the Link Slardar stun, he got the Snowball instantly. I mean, he had vision, to be fair, but still, it's... Quick reaction flame. I really like racks. What they do every single time too is they see a fight, they just drop a ward. Both yeah, teams every time, yeah. every single time. I did see that. I mean, I think when you give Doggy the opportunity to like play Dota, it's like much easier. Yesterday I felt like they weren't enabling him at all. Uh, but this game, he can make plays with the types of cores that he has. Yeah, no, he's been really impressive. I'm, I'm glad you pointed that out though, the ward thing, because that's actually been happening a lot in this, you know, the CSL. Yeah, it's they, impressive. They're I mean, good about stuff like that. A lot of a lot of pro teams, to be honest with you, don't, don't do, do that. that. And it's a huge thing. Vision and fights can win you everything. Yeah. They just, they're like, okay, we're about to take a fight. Our smoke popped. Let me get a ward down, like, wherever I can so that my... It, it's so that your cores can at least Radiance be very flexible. Like, the fallen. cores feel very comfortable when you've got complete vision over the area. Yeah. So the Life Sealer is now going to complete the Maelstrom himself. 
So we've got double, and I think it's a BKB finish, too, for Evident. So that's the BKB is going to be incredibly useful. Mostly Sher versus like the Slaughter Stun and the Jakiro, but not to get mana burned, I think is pretty huge Yeah, as a Dragon Knight. I think Roshan will probably be the next target. Yeah, they had Solo Crest finished on Life Steer too, so. And I think the Radiance is done on... Oh, is the Radiance done on Xanthos now too? So they have a lot of different ways now to deal with the PL Illusions. They've got double yeah. Maelstrom and a Radiance. These are big timings now too, so it's BKB, Radiance, and then that Maelstrom finished for Life Stealer, so. Yeah. It's actually paired up quite nicely, like yeah. the timing on everything. I think if you're RIT, you probably look for a fight now. Nope. Oh. Chocobo. Stun. Quick stun top. Evident with the Blink Dagger. Making sure he's trying, trying to play to the sure. distance game. Yeah. Chocobo played the save. He jumps away. So even though you saw Davis win two fights in a row, if you win two fights like that, but you can't get anything out of it, yep. then you know that the team is still behind. Yeah, and they Dyer's can't really hit buildings. So the Jakiro is their building hitter in this game. And pretty much all three tier ones are pretty healthy. Bottom, I guess, is not. Bottom should go down here to level. That's kind of why we wanted to see something like the DP. Yes. From either side. We, I was, like, this is the last pick. I was like, the last pick for either side, I want them to hit people to hit buildings. What takes the objective in general. Yeah. So with every item flying out, going to go for the Roshan yep. on RIT. We are not contested. They've got the mid lane constantly pushing in because that racks too. So they could look to clear out bottom wave and then just look for fights. They might even just look for a fight. And they will. They've got the smoke. Roshan claimed by RIT. LeBron does have that completed battle fury, but the timing on it is so late. Yeah, I mean, he's also, he just gets stunned and died in every yeah. single one of these fights. There's no, there's no way to protect him. There's no save. Die. They do not fear results whatsoever. No. I mean, they're scanning for him. They've got, I mean, they've got, like we said, the three times before, right? Life Stealer, Abaddon, and Dragon Knight, Monkey King Ultimate. It's like, hello. Yeah. Now this bottom push coming in. There's, there's stalking. Doggies, doggies on the prowl. Oh, barely doesn't get it. They had a feeling though the pings were coming out. Yeah. And Doggy's been sick. You saw him running around also. He had uh, boots, urn, and four clarities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To make sure he can he doesn't go back to base, so he can keep running around and making plays. Invisibility. I think yesterday I was like I was like uh man, it feels like the McMaster supports just like they're better. But I think it's partially because of who like the style that they were using. It just makes them look a lot more useful, right? Yeah. This time around, they've got cores that are willing to fight. They're the ones taking the pressure. Uh, now it looks like they're just going to go for the high ground attempt. They've got the siege wagon here with them too. Dog is on the prowl right now. Yeah, Dog is trying to find what they can. Is maybe if he isolates out LeBron, macro power is going to be laid out. Tower now is trying to get hit a little bit. Sakhan doesn't have a blink dagger yet on the doom. Still just phase jump. Very poor. Stun flies in, KB popped on the LeBron, and he is going to go down. Follow up, Chocobo well. is going to fall as well. The Doom is laid out onto the Abaddon, but it doesn't really seem like he cares too much as Lucky. But trying to run away as the stun falls out once again. Biology Lucky buying back. He was trying to juke him, it looked like a bit, but... <laughs> All the buybacks haven't laid out. The Monkey King buys back, drops the ult, but... They're just going to disengage. A decent amount of damage to the Abaddon. They stop. They stop the push at least. The racks aren't claimed, but I don't know if this will stop the push entirely. Yeah. Looks like they want to still keep going for it. They've got the Aegis every buyback forced out. If they get any sort of pick here. No, it looks like they are going to disengage. And just wait for the DK form, yeah. yeah. I mean, they, the economic damage is done, right? You forced the big cores to buyback from the monkey from the PL. You got the tower anyway. Fight was won. What's our probability now? Yeah, there we go. It has hit the 100%. 99% at 99%. this point. 99%. Oh, it actually says 99. I actually didn't oh, even see that there was a percent down there. Yeah. I think it is 99% over at this point. And that is pretty one-sided. Yeah, I mean, it, it does feel like it, though. It's because you have, like, this uh, core Doom, who is bottom three net worth. He can't really farm at all. He's, just, he's literally just a Doom now at this point. He doesn't even tank much because he's very squishy. And everybody else is just so far behind. I've seen one 99 to one come back. I saw one where it was 90 per 99% and the team with 99% lost five, like 30 seconds afterwards. It was uh, a Fnatic. Fnatic Navi. Versus Navi, yeah. Yep. 
It was 99 to 1, 35k gold lead, or 40k gold lead, and they lost. Do you know, I was talking to Pi at the after party, you know what he said? He's like, uh, so we see them coming down mid, and no one's saying anything on our team. He's like, uh, everyone's quiet, everyone's like, ah, oh, whatever, you know, like, because you think it's a whatever push. Because yeah. you know that it's their only play, right? So he said nobody says anything, and then he starts to realize that they're losing the game, and everyone panics. They all start to freak they out, They all right? start to yeah. freak out, like, they're just like, oh shit, and then everything goes wrong. <laughs> They don't realize that Dendi has the rapier. It's like everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Because yeah. you're too calm in that position, he said. It's like they thought they were going to win for sure. Radiant so bottom lane, not being assaulted. Lucky Dyer's finally trying to take down that tier 1 tower, but with no buybacks available up front. Evan gets the jump onto Chocobo here. They've got the BKB as well. They will bring down the slaughter. Bane Wirt does die in the back. LeBron's starting to get focused by everybody on the side of RIT. They bring him down. Lucky. Trying to go for Evident here, but with the damage to clear out the illusions, Evident will actually survive. And that should be the end of the game here. And good game, well played, is called by Lucky. He knows that his team cannot make this comeback. And that is going to be game one in the favor of IRT. Yeah, I think uh, I think the style actually suits him so much better. Just fight, 100%. Like, having sure Evident, he's star player here. Can play these flashy heroes, can play the Storm Spirits, can play the Shadow Fiends, but I think the style of him playing like the Death Prophet, the Dragon Knights, these heroes that just make your team group up and go, just fits fits better at this style at the yeah. moment. It makes his team look a lot better too, like yeah. overall. Like you saw Doggy there. You gave Doggy the opportunity uh, to play this Tusk. He was absolute beast mode. I think like aside from that one play in mid where he got two shot by the Monkey King, he had probably, I mean, he was easily the MVP for me. He made so many plays around the map. Uh, he yep. had great game sense. The timing too, when he dodged the Slardar Sun in the pivotal fight, which yeah. allowed them to get racks in the first place. I, th I think like, like his little plays, and then just are the those like big plays, and then the little plays, just the Dropping understanding the of where to be, putting down those wards, and also, oh, DK versus Monkey King. I don't want to just leave my DK. I'm gonna start mid just for the first wave. We kill him. All right, Evidence got a head start. I'm out. Yeah. And then moving around. That's super smart to me. I was very impressed by that. Yeah. From for RIT. sure. Um, so that's gonna do it for game number one for us. As in the best of three, RIT. The favorites in this tournament, they looked a little bit shaky yesterday, but are now proving why they were the favorites in the first yep. place. Uh, so that's going to be game number one for us. And we will head to our break. And shortly after, we'll have game number two.